Hello, everyone. We have a lot to cover today, and to help us out is our good friend, Dr. Christy Funk. Welcome. Welcome. Good to be here. The Funkster is in the house. I love it. Thank you. Dr. Funk, do you like getting sick? I very much dislike it, because when I'm sick, I feel sick. Any, any, anyone out there like getting sick? No. I don't think I've ever seen no. a person sick. No. No. That's why we have doctors. But what if you were paid a lot of money to purposely get sick, all for the greater good? Check it out. No matter how carefully you've budgeted for college, money is always going to be tight. And while some kids can stomach four years of ramen noodles and cheap beer, there are those like Sean who are aiming much higher. For thousands of dollars, she participates in medical trials, essentially donating her live and healthy body to science. Thus far, she's contracted both typhoid and the Ebola virus. So the next time you're looking to make some extra cash, will you consider hosting a deadly disease? Wow. Now let me, let me just say one thing. Uh, it was a dead Ebola virus. Yeah, but... Okay, but I got your attention. Did I not? Yeah, but, but still, we don't... Yeah. This is research. These are both potentially lethal organisms. The Ty typhoid vaccine only works in 60% of people. So if I gave you like a five-barrel gun with two bullets, would you right. fire away? Uh, I, I, I mean, all but, but, but yeah. we need... But we need volunteers to advance medical science. And there are humans out there who do volunteer, including the student just mentioned. And uh, she actually is joining us on there Skype. You. Welcome, Sean. So I have to ask you, number one, thanks for being here. You've done some pretty crazy things in the name of science. Uh, so what motivated you? Um, money, because I'm a student and I live in one of the most expensive cities in the UK. So I can't really afford, like, everything with my student loans. They're actually not enough. So the money... I kind of like helping out medical science. It's a bit fun. How much do you get paid to do these? Um, for the typhoid one, 2,900 pounds, and the Ebola one, 540 pounds, which paid for a holiday to Florida. Does your mom know that you're doing this? Oh, yeah, my mom hates it. She literally can't stand it. She's like, every time she's like, I'm so worried. What do I do? And I'm just a bit like, Mom, it's fine. I'm like, I'm an adult. I can do what I like. Um, I get paid, it's cool. You have to ask yourself four questions. What's the risk of doing it? What's the risk of not doing it? What's the benefit of doing it? What's the benefit of not doing it? And in this case, you can put financial compensation on there. You can put advancement of science on there as benefits. And the risks, th nothing is zero risk. So, I mean, you, as long as you can answer case, those questions, you can proceed. That's how we make in decisions. In this case, her medicine. benefit was a tan from Florida. People have worse, people put themselves more at risk going to the doctor and getting an antibiotic for a cold and potentially having an uh, uh, allergic reaction. And I feel like... We, Wait, an, more at risk than in getting injected with typhoid or Ebola? There, do you <laughs> look at the data on the here? number of people who died of anaphylactic deaths due to antibiotics? Absolutely. You, you, no to, name, one, name one person that you know who's died from, from a, a, this typhoid trial. Zero. Well, I'm not it's saying, in England. Well, but my point is that, that these are very controlled experiments. And the one thing I will say, and this is where Sean can highlight, you're putting... I mean... You are in some of these, you are getting something that will make you sick. And typhoid, I, this is the one I, I actually am the most impressed with you being willing to do it because, you know, the Ebola virus, you hear that, it's scary, but this was a dead attenuated virus. The typhoid fever, you actually developed it. Yeah, they gave me the drink, and then the first week of the trial, I had no symptoms whatsoever. It was amazing. I was like, oh. I'm not going to get sick, I'm going to take those money. And the second week was awful. Like, it was so bad. I didn't think I would get so sick I couldn't get out of bed. <laughs> but, yeah, I couldn't even leave my bed without thinking I was going to be sick. But when you were talking about the, like, antibiotics, I've had an allergic reaction to antibiotics. It was ten times worse than the typhoid was. Interesting. Well, we, Sean, thank you so much for sharing your story with us. We appreciate it. And by well, the way, people who want to, in, in the United States, who want to earn money and participate in rigorous official clinical trials, yeah. any academic medical center, you walk into the lobby, they're always by the elevators, and they will be able to give you IRB information, consents, informed consent. It's, it's very... Well, you, you hear this on the radio all the time. Do you want to be a volunteer for this new drug, this new clinical study that's coming? out so I guess it is your choice and in her case she made nearly 3,000 pounds for the one and 500 plus pounds on the other I mean that's, that's a decent amount of coin